Hello gamers, thanks for watching this video. This is going to be an introductory video on how to use the custom trait creator designed by Battlefoam. When you head to the Battlefoam webpage, either on the uk.battlefoam.com website or the us.battlefoam.com website, you will find a home screen that has a icon here at the bottom labeled the custom trait creator. You can click on that or up in the top left corner, custom trait creator. Both will lead you to the same location. Once you've clicked on those locations, you will head over to the actual welcome aboard screen where you're going to be asked several questions. If you've never used a custom trade creator before, it's good to actually go ahead and press through these questions, answer them as you go through, and it will lead you into a section of the custom trade creator for beginners. If you've already used the custom trade creator before, simply go ahead and click on go directly to the custom trade creator arrow down at the bottom. This once clicked will take you directly into the application. As you can see, the application is a very clean and easy to use format. What we've done with the latest rendition of the custom tray creator is made it easier for customers to select shapes, find existing shapes, and also create their very own shapes. At Battle Foam, we specialize in custom designed foam trays. This is a great way to get something custom designed quickly and efficiently for your specific army and or storage needs. Now, let's start with the basics. From the top here, you'll notice a bar that has all of the different selectable categories, shapes, tray size, tray height, and search shapes. Let's go ahead through all of them individually. In the shape section, when you actually click on the icon, you'll be given a variety of different types of games. Now, with the custom tray creator, we are adding new shapes and new games as they're released. So what you see here today or in this introductory video will probably be very different from what you see when you first use the tool because it'll be updated with the latest releases and the latest shapes that we get our hands on. So let's take, for instance, something that is familiar to most, uh, Star Wars X-Wing. Once clicking on Star Wars X-Wing, you'll find that there is a variety of shapes already designed for you. They are labeled throughout, so you have an easy way of researching what has already been designed and measured to fit perfectly for that specific model. Uh, in this case, as we go down, you will find that there are many, many shapes for X-Wing, all the way from something like the Quad Jumper to an X-Wing and so on and so forth. Now. You can also back up, find a different game if you're interested in that. Let's say, for instance, you are a Warhammer 40K player. You'll find that all of those armies are listed here throughout, along with all their specific items uh, by name and, of course, by style. So if you back up, you can also search for a game if you don't see it or you may just want to go quicker through the system. Just simply put in something that makes sense for you or just a few of the letters so in this case let's back up to games and we'll put in here uh let's say dust which we saw a little bit of it but it will show up and populate and you can click on it that way and again you will then be put in a subcategory for the actual um, armies themselves now backing up if you want to also do something very unique which has been added as a feature for the custom trade creator is the custom shapes this is a really cool new feature that allows you to take any style shape you want either rectangle or oval and build it to the spec that you want on the fly so in this case let's say i want to have a three and a quarter inch rectangle by 1.5 inch I can simply just make that shape and now that shape I don't have to search for. It is literally designed to the size I want. I can also duplicate that shape. So if I wanted to do a bunch of these shapes, I can simply do that. And it makes it very easy to build a tray quickly and efficiently without having to really spend a lot of time with the finicky system that doesn't help you. Now you can also take these shapes and rotate them all the way around in any increment you'd like to get it set up just the way you want. You can also combine shapes by putting them over each other. This will tell our builders that you want this to be somewhat of a T shape. So things like this are very easy to do, or you can just simply come back, delete, and get rid of the shape and start completely over. Now what's really neat is you also have here in the bottom left, a couple different icons. The first one is a toggle grid snapping. Now this gives you a grid system 
that allows the shapes to more effectively get into their locations. That's really neat because it allows you to quickly adjust and build trays that are aligned and give you an idea of what will fit on a tray without having to guess. You can turn that off and on to get a look for the tray and then you can of course use it to align your shapes. Another really neat feature is the padding feature. If you notice here, I'll turn the grid off. If you notice here, I can see the padding of my shapes to know how close I can get them before they're too close to be cut together. So if you notice here, when I have my padding on, I can see that those shapes are safe. Of course, if I get them too close, let's say I build a tray where the shapes are like so, that would overlap and I can tell that the padding does not have enough room to fit. So realistically, you want to have a little bit of the background there showing that guarantees that you have plenty of room between the shapes. Now our designers are going to see these designs and they're also going to adjust them slightly when they receive them just to make sure you don't have any walls that cave in or rip easily when you get your tray made. Now, moving forward, you also have the custom shape icon here. So this is another good way for you to add shapes on the fly without having to go through the search icon area. So let's say I wanted to do this rectangle. You'll notice once again, I have the number written inside of it. So I know exactly what size that shape is going to be. Now, of course, you can get rid of all of these, go back up to the shape section, pick up, for instance, Aeronautica and build individual specific trays, just how you want them. Now, here's what's really neat also. As you build these trays out, you're going to eventually end up with a design of some sort, the design of your choice. To simply keep those and send them in for uh, purchase, you just go to the export. But first, there's a, a hint that came up. If I click this, it says the tray height must be selected. Okay, well, we didn't get there. So if you go to tray size, you can select your tray size here and they can change in any style and size you want from the varied items that we offer. Now, what's neat about this is you can even build all the shapes and then change the tray size if you find that the tray that you picked wasn't large enough the first time. So simply go through these as you need them and change them as you like. Um, in this case, let's go ahead with a Battle Foam Large, a very popular size. So once again, we can take our shapes. Now we know that this size will fit for our models and we will turn on our padding, make sure they're okay between each other. And we will select our height. Let's say we want this tray to only be one and a half inches. You'll notice it will show up here in the top left. This lets us know that you want this tray with these cutouts to be no taller than one and a half inches. That will guarantee that the models you make or you uh, select fit properly inside the actual foam tray. You can also go here in the search section and you can search for specific individual models. For instance, let's say I want an X-Wing fighter. I can just simply put X-Wing and you'll start seeing it populate like so. Maybe I want to find a Y-Wing fighter. I would click here and I would simply put Y and it'll change it right away. So this is another really easy way to find specific things. You can also find specific models like let's put in here uh, Roboot Gilliman. If you wanted to get him, you can see that if I slowly put in some of the letters for it, I'm going to get some of his uh, populated models, uh, model shapes. Now, of course, the more you fill out, the more accurate you are, the more of the shape or style you're going to find. If you know that you want the Rubik Gilliman side version of the model, you would just put that in and you would get that version only. If you wanted it standing, you can put that in and you would have it standing. Now, a lot of times that's for people that are veterans of the system and know how to use it and have shapes that they've used and they know what they're looking for specifically. Well, as we go forward here, we want to go ahead and make this tray. And of course, we would fill this out with all of our shapes. Once you've put all the shapes you wanted in, once you've confirmed that they're gridded the way you want, once you've confirmed it's the right tray, which is says here, Battle Foam Large Tray, and it gives you the dimensions. And once you've confirmed that you have the size height you need it to be, let's go ahead and purchase this. So all you do is you would click on the button here, which is a save button, ready to buy this custom tray would come up. And what you would do is you would notice in the bottom left hand of your computer, you would see the file download as an SVG file. This allows our builders and designers to quickly transform your design into a ready production file. You would then go to the US website and it would allow you to purchase that tray through the shopping cart. So of course, right now, there's nothing in this because this is a generic image. 
but it gives you the sizing, the pricing, and everything you need ready to add the shopping cart. And you would choose the file and pull it in from what the design that was just downloaded to your desktop uh, was done. So this is a very easy system, a very fun system to use. And again, it allows you to shop for exactly the models and items you need designed for your specific tray and or army. The other way you can do it, and we can cover this in a future video, is how to trace your models. By going to this icon here is another way to hand build your specific designs without using a custom tray creator, leaving you the option to individually trace the models, giving you a perfect cutout based on your hand drawn design. So this is just another version and another way that customer service is able to help you only at Battlefoam. So thank you for watching the video. We appreciate it. We look forward to seeing your first order using the custom tray creator. And if you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at battlefoam.com. 